what's going on guys so now we're getting ready for the daytona truck meet just got the truck back from plant bamboo did a hell of a lot of mud bogging there's a little bit of truck pools and had a couple little complications basically i burned up two heater hoses dumping all of my cooling out one time in a mud hole we got it replaced that was actually where it connected to the heater core for the heater inside the truck so justin hildebrandt luckily was right there and kind of showed me what to do we just bypassed the heater core the truck was back up and running and ready to go we mud bogged a little bit more we went and did a truck tug and i've been having an issue it's happened like one or two times before but i just haven't got around to messing with it yet i've got all that factory firewall insulation that's up on the firewall of the truck and that stuff with where we ran the hood stack and everything that stuff gets a little toasty from time to time and it actually catches on fire it's intended to prevent fire but that stuff actually causes more problems than anything lately for me but anyways that little bit of fire basically caused my nitrous solenoid wires to get cooked my water methanol solenoid wires to get cooked and it also melted a second heater hose line so i'll actually show you what both those or one of those lines looks like right now actually no i can show you both of them so the first line that had an issue right here say she got a little warm and her fitting actually broke and that's what caused us to dump all the fluid out when we were in the middle of the mud hole then when we were doing the truck tugs and that firewall material caught it actually melted this heater hose, put that nice hole in it, and dumped all my coolant out once again. So, got some new, a little bit more heavy duty hose that we're gonna replace it with. Got two sections here. That'll replace that one, and this, I'll have to cut it down to size, but this will replace this one. And then instead of using these, I don't really like these spring connectors because they're a real bitch to mess with. So I'm gonna replace it with these worm screw clamps. But this will replace this one. That'll replace that one. Then I actually called up the mad scientist. He actually recommended that I cover it with some of this heat insulation material that he had given me before for my hydraulic lines that I used for my steering. So I think I'm gonna sleeve both of these lines with this stuff. It's pretty sweet. It's like, oh yeah. Keeps you from getting hot and melting and getting holes in your lines. Cause any coolant goes all over the tug pad. It's a real inconvenience. You can't even do any tugs. You can make it all slippery for everybody else. It's just not cool. And the last thing that we had an issue with that I honestly didn't even know I was having a problem with it because I was kind of getting used to it, I guess. My starter was going bad in this truck for quite a while now, based on what I can tell. We couldn't get the truck off the trailer when I got home and thought it was the batteries were dead. We had two trucks hooked up to it and jumper boxes and the damn thing still wouldn't roll over. So the hyena was with me. He recommended that we maybe start messing with that starter. So we started tapping on the starter, seeing if we get it to roll over and it would a little bit here and there, it just, whoosh, and then that'd be it. And then roll over again, that'd be it. So we pulled the starter off and I actually replaced it while it was still on the trailer, while the truck was still on the trailer. New starter and boy, that thing fires right up now. I can't believe I've been milking that shit bag starter as long as I have. Hearing how that thing rolls over and starts up with this new starter, it's like night and day difference. And I honestly wish I would have replaced it before back when we put new batteries in the truck about two or three, about two or three months ago. Um, I was a little surprised. We put badass blue top optimum batteries in it and it just didn't have that aggressive fire up whenever you go to start it. But I was like, ah, whatever. It is what it is. I kind of just didn't think too much of it. Thought maybe I was expecting a little too much. But now with this new starter, dude, as soon as you turn that key, brrr, fucking fires right up. Very cool. Sounds awesome. Get them Duramax bald eagles nice and primed up, ready to go rip some stuff backwards, tear up some mud holes and just let her eat, brother, tell you that. So I'm replacing these couple hoses and then we got a couple little sweet treats from Mad Scientist coming to us. I think we're gonna get some of them tomorrow and some more on Wednesday to help give us that little bit more popping edge when we go to Daytona truck meet. So, should be a good week, Tater, tell you that. So continuing forward with Daytona Prep Week, I just got a phone call from the mad scientist and he said he's got some parts for us done. So I'm head over to his machine shop to check them out. I wonder what he's got cooking up. Guaranteed something badass. And just to give us a little appetizer, he just gave us this. Bam! He has figured out how to program the Kilnut Lifestyle logo into his CNC's. He's engraving them into the aluminum. 
thing is bitching. Oh, oh boy! Just left the mad scientist shop and God, he's got some super bitching parts that we're about to put on the gill of the mega truck. It's gonna be awesome. Makes me want to talk in the voice. Get y'all pumped up. But don't want to show y'all what they are just yet. I got some other crap I'm dealing with still residual from plant bamboo. Uh, we've melted all kinds of fun stuff on the back of the engine compartment. Ugh. Trying to replace some of it right now. But I just called Brian. And he gave me a couple good ideas on how I can actually do somewhat of a permanent fix on my coolant system. And it's pretty quick and easy. So I'm going to get some bark fittings, a couple more pieces of hose, some more clamps. And then he gave me some more of that flame shield heat retardant stuff. So I'm going to put some of that over the hose and then do a bark connection, double bark fitting. Still be bypassing the heater core, but it's freaking the middle of summer right now. So I could give less than a shit if my truck has heat or not right now. Maybe go through and I'll try to fix it a little better in the next few months. But we're definitely going to be cooking with some bacon. Be able to make it on over to Daytona Truck Show. Yeah, buddy. Pretty fired up. Killing it. So I got a little carried away trying to repair everything on the truck from the fire. Now it was like 9 o'clock at night. And I still have to finish getting these parts together that I got from the mad scientist earlier today. That I still haven't showed you all yet. Well, here is what we're doing. That's what the engraving is going to look like super badass like kind of three-dimensional looking and it's going on these now this is actually a sample one that he had made me just so i can kind of see what we're working with it's a little bit smaller than the other four that are for the truck but what these are going to do let me just take a little gander on over here and show you see i got these super badass rims custom made you got to go and actually buy the wheel shell from a tractor company and then cut out the back plate yourself and actually custom make your rims if you want rims like these. They got certain sizes that you can actually buy that are already done, but in order to get exactly what we wanted, we actually had to make these ones ourselves. So these sweet new plates, bam, are gonna go right in that center hub like that. This might be a better angle. Boom, look at that. They have killing the lifestyle wheels. Now this one has the machining marks all in it from when Brian goes and actually cuts it all out. That's why it's got like those rows, like it kind of looks like it goes side to side. So I'm going to go through and sand that out. So it'll just be polished right here. It'll just be like a polished color, but it'll have the engraving in it. The engraving will pop a lot more too once the rest of it's all just straight polished and simple. So that is my last project for this evening. I got to take all these blanks. Oh yeah, that was the other part of it too. Brian, because he is just a super genius. He figures what I should do is go ahead and sand these, get all these little swirl mark things out. Have them be nice and polished, flat, plain, simple, one, like one sheen to them. And then he's going to go and cut all this stuff out because in order to polish them, I got to hit it with multiple grades of sandpaper. Basically, I hit it with something like 100 grit or 500 grit. We'll probably start with 500. Hopefully, that'll take a lot of those marks out. And then I got to work up in the sandpaper grits to get up to like 3,000 or so. And then hit it with some compound and then hit it with some polish to really get it to pop. So in doing all that, you're actually removing a little bit of material. And not a whole lot, but enough, enough to probably notice. But so that the engraving is as deep as possible, he's going to have me polish them all and then engrave it. So it'll be as deep as it can be. And it'll last a long time. So time to get the DA and get to sanding them, brother. Go time. finishing up night number three of the daytona truck prep so i haven't really been able to video too much just because i've been honestly trying to get all this shit done stuff trying to get all this stuff done before daytona truck meet because we're supposed to leave in like 48 hours time is a ticking but so far i made some pretty good progress i got all the engine wiring repaired from our little engine fire got a new cool line in there with some flame shield on it Place the other coolant line and got flame shield on it. 
I was able to cut out some of the wiring. Ooh, and we dodged a good bullet there. So Mr. JH Diesel has been definitely being super helpful with letting me know what the hell's going on with my engine ever since that fire. Basically, he's just been telling me what things I got to worry about and which things I don't. So, of the stuff that burned up, my nitro solenoid is freaking toast. Good thing that thing didn't explode. That could have been terrible. But uh, anyways, nitro solenoids, toast. The purge solenoid is on the verge of toast. The uh, wires to it are pretty well charred. I went ahead and pulled the sheathing off them and then put some heat shrink over them. So they are protected. It's just not ideal. So I think I'm going to replace that solenoid as well. Uh, the vacuum line that triggers the water methanol, that thing was completely melted and just screwed. So I had to cut it out and basically replace probably three quarters of it. And that wiring that was on the passenger side of the engine bay. That was a little toasted. Now all that was, according to Justin, one of them was for my EGR, which I don't even have EGR on that truck anymore anyway. Um, the other wires were actually were to my fuel rail. So those are very important. Justin said to make sure those are tip top shape because I will have all sorts of issues if that's not functioning properly. So the mad scientist took me up with all sorts of Deutsch connectors. That's right. Say it with me, people. Deutsch connector. Not to be confused with douche connector. And basically these are just like weather tight connectors. Connecting three wires, two wires, a bazillion wires, what have you. So I just needed basically a male and a female version of this. So I was able to use it and cut out all the bad wiring that was all charred up that goes to the fuel rail. I put some fresh wires in there, was able to solder them together and then add the Deutsch connector and that should be good to go. So now I'm letting the batteries charge up tonight, but uh, everything's full of coolant, wiring is good. The engine and everything should be ready to rock and roll. So we got a little bit more little details to work on. Um, I'll show you guys some of the presents that I got from the mad scientist today. They're fucking killing it. No, let me show you. We've got these babies. Bam. Now you might realize they have a striking resemblance to the center plate that he had made me back when we first built the truck. All right. So now we're going to have matching plates. They're going to go up here on my sway bars. So that bolt will come out and that bolt will sit inside that little hole. And then I'm going to have to drill and tap a hole. But bam, that's kind of how... Oh my God, she looks good, don't you? Oh God, I'm so excited. I just want to talk in the voice, but I'm going to piss my neighbors off if I start yelling in the voice right now, so I can't be doing it. But that's going to look sweet, especially with that polished link bar right there and the contrast with the blue. Whew. So I got to finish polishing these because they have like the machining marks on them. See like little lines and whatnot. Yeah, you can definitely see them there. So that's all for tonight. I'm going to call it a night. We don't have a whole lot left to do. Gotta finish installing those covers, installing the sway bar face plates, make sure the truck's running properly, and get all of our stuff loaded and head on down to the Daytona Truck Show, people. Hope y'all are coming by the booth. We're gonna have shirts, hats, stickers, koozies, nice super bitchin' tent. It's gonna be a good day. Good, good couple days. Good weekend, I'll tell you that. So hope to see you all there. So the first thing we're gonna do is get all these face plates polished that are supposed to go on my sway bars. Bam, look at them things. Oh, they're gonna look good on the truck, I tell you what. But... Well, they are all officially polished. Bam, look at that. What a difference. Now it's time to get to installing. Plan number two. Boy, this has been a mad dash for the freaking finish line. Supposed to be leaving in about 35 minutes. Truck's still not quite on the trailer yet. Gator's not loaded yet. But... We're making some good progress. Check this out. Bam, got all my center caps on. Got my sway bars all plated up. Everything's all nice and clean and pretty. Yeah, yeah, great. Time to get loaded up on the trailer. If y'all enjoyed the video, subscribe to our channel. Hit that button right there. While you're at it, hit the like button at the bottom of your screen. You can also check out our website, killingitlifestyle.com. 
There you can follow the Killing It crew and order your own apparel so everyone will know you're super. Killing it!